Also happening today, North Carolina will enter phase two of the reopening process. This means more businesses can open with capacity limits and other guidelines in place. Madison Glassman looked into what phase two means for restaurants. Madison? Well, Lex, when you walk into restaurants tonight in North Carolina, you're going to be greeted by the new normal. As we previously reported, starting tonight at 5 o'clock, restaurants in North Carolina can allow customers into their dining rooms. However, they will be capped at 50% capacity. Customers are required to stay six feet apart. Staff must also increase disinfection during busy times. Now, I spoke with the owner and head chef of Argyles on the Outer Banks. They've been hard at work putting up barriers in between each table to prepare for exactly 44 guests at a time. There's now a sanitation station for customers to use before they enter. Salt shakers, baskets of coffee creamers and sugar packets in the middle of the table. Yep, that's a thing of the past, at least for now. John Levy and Deborah Sinkage say they're excited to see locals and tourists, but stress the importance of everyone following the new rules. It's all up to people in general. You can tell them what to do, but unless they decide to do it, you know, I mean, you can have all the rules and regulations you want. If people do not decide that they are going to follow those rules, you know, you, you kind of have to give a little push. As we've previously reported, Dare County banned tourists in March to help curb the spread of the coronavirus. And Levy and Sinkage say this hurt their business. That created a very limited clientele for the restaurants that tried to remain open. So where people were doing business and were trying to help small businesses, it was so spread out. Under phase two in North Carolina, bars and gyms will stay closed. During a one-on-one -on -one interview with Governor Roy Cooper, our sister station in Raleigh learned those businesses were originally slated to be reopened under phase two. However, Governor Cooper said the number of positive cases continues to rise, so he wanted to err on the side of caution. Lex, 